Hey guys, Seth here, or Jedi Seth as I go by on the lightsaber forums. This is my latest build. This is my second profi board that I've made, um, built, Saber 4. Um, I'll just go give you a quick overview. Here is the emitter that I've made for it. There's a switch box. There's the leather wrap, the pommel, the D-ring. Um, this leather wrap is a, uh, it's a red that I purchased from DEF CON and I did some weathering on it. I have some darker patinas that I put over the top of the leather and then I bought a wax and conditioned it and it it's, looks really nice, feels great. Um, this is, you know, it has a smooth swing capability with the, uh, the profi board. There's the, uh, the blade plug that I made for it. It's running a deep, deep red, or deep red, deep red white. It also has a uh, Sabre Essentials 24 millimeter speaker. Um, originally, I had the standard uh, 3.7 volt battery from the custom Sabre shop. And in my last build, that worked fine. But this one, I don't know if it's because the additional accent LEDs or if it's because of the deep red, deep red, white. But I tore the saber apart a couple of times trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And come to find out that, I, that it ended up just needing a, a higher amp battery. So it all works now with a 10 amp battery. This is a, has a core inside. This is the second core that I've made. Um, these are difficult to make. This is not a, this is not a first time build, at least not for me. It's taken me a good year to, to be able to get to the place where I can make something like this. Um, there's the speaker holder. There's some accent LEDs there, the recharge port. It's the lower crystal chamber and the upper crystal chamber. I put a lot of hours into these. I spent some good time making sure everything Everything works and everything lines up so that it functions properly. There's the switches, there's the housing for the LED here. And then my recharge port just goes in there. And then, you know, everything has to line up just perfectly for it to function. And then I give a little bit of a snug. And then the, uh, it has an O-ring inside here so that it will push up against and not rock around. And then the switches are, are such that it makes it so it won't rotate. Anyway, there is my latest build. Thank you for watching.